destroyed a donut bakery scam. This bakery was just called out on TikTok for selling repackaged Dunkin' Donuts as vegan gluten-free donuts. Okay. Uh, oh, is it vegan because they don't use sugar? Do, can vegans eat sugar? For a marked up price, and it's... Oh, ah, that's where you got me. Slowly just turning into another pink sauce or pickle girl saga. Well, this whole story starts off... Pickle girl. I heard about the pink sauce. ...off with a small business owner by the name of Michelle Sirianni, who owns a small business by the name of the Savory Fig. She's been accused of selling vegan and gluten-free donuts that were absolutely not vegan nor gluten-free and straight up from Dunkin' Donuts. And I do oh. want to thank Natalia Slater for breaking this... So she's basically dropshipping. ...on TikTok or basically. else I wouldn't have been aware of this. Vegan Donut Gate 2024. Strap in, because this happened. But the company that called them out goes by the name... Vegan Donut Gate is... That's a funny name for that. ...name of Cindy Snacks, and they posted this on Instagram. So, first thing you see is, Jesus, that's, that's not really text. a good-looking donut. But then, if you notice the sprinkles, you have the Dunkin' Donuts... Oh, that's how she got caught. ...colors, and the Ds. Fascinating. <laughs> And that's a whole nother can of worms we're gonna get into as the post reads on February 23rd, the owner of Savory Fig dropped off the baked goods we ordered from her, including yeah. her donuts. In the middle of the boxes, there was a donut pictured on the first slide. I, John, immediately became concerned. No, you scared, they didn't even try to hide it. Yeah, if I'm drop shipping Dunkin' Donuts, no cap, I'm just using the glazed donuts, bro. I'm using glazed, powdered, just like the basic donuts, bro. I'm not using nothing crazy, bro. Vegan donuts are not tasty. Is that a real thing, though? I'll try them. Is that a real thing? Let me see. Let me see if I got any near me. Well, there's a couple spots. Ooh, I think I'll try them on the road trip. I'll write, I'll write that down. I'll write that down. That'll be one of the things I do on the road trip. Try some vegan donuts. Bro, are these healthy cinema? Bro, look at. Bro, that looks sick, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. That doesn't look good, bro. Like, you might actually get sick eating this. No cap. You might actually get sick eating this, bro. Bro, it looks like dry, bro. Alright, let's get back to the video. As to why well, this one donut is that they aren't healthy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I guess I guess we shouldn't exclude vegans off of having, you know, good tasting stuff. But they also don't eat chicken. So it's like kind of it's, it's kind of fuck them at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Ezra? was decorated differently than all the others and in such a strikingly similar down. way to a recognizable chain. I pulled all the items Vegan delivered out on our racks and stored them in the back out of precaution until I confirmed what was or what wasn't happening here. As seen in the screenshots in slide two, I I'll raised my concerns respectfully, section. hoping a simple explanation with confirming evidence would clear this up. And here he writes, hey, I in no mean mean to insult you or question your products, but this donut in the box with the strawberry frosting, these are definitely little D sprinkles. Facts. One's Dunkin' Donuts use. Even the same colors as the Dunkin' logo. If these are Dunkin' Donuts, the ingredients could kill somebody as we have so many people with severe dairy allergies that shop here. I'm concerned with the donuts this week and I'm nervous to- Oh, dairy allergy. That makes sense. But I, ah, I don't know though. I, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's still kind of like, I right, bruh, like, Maybe donuts just maybe aren't your thing. Maybe you were just built to just not have donuts. You know what I'm saying? Pull them out. I will keep maybe this conversation between us, be but healthy. please tell me the truth. I don't want to kill anyone with a severe What is it a bit about? Uh, donut bakery scam. Allergy. Okay, very fair. Good well, on that business owner for actually looking out for his customers. So <laughs> what did she reply? These are definitely not Dunkin' Donuts. If you don't want to put them out, don't. But they are not Dunkin' She doubled down? Wait, watch it double down. Like, come on, bro. I mean, it's so obvious, bro. You just got caught, bro. Like, you can at least say, oh, okay. Like, we'll do better next time or something. Like, just, bro, this is a bad situation to lie in, bro. I'm not going to lie. Look, I'm a really good liar, chat. 
I, I really support lying when you know how to do it. But this right here is not good lying. I'm not Donuts. Lie. I don't mean to insult you, and I hope I didn't, but you have to understand the concern. Can you show me the sprinkle container you have that had the Ds? I just don't understand why that would be something you would have or put on one donut. I could send you a picture later. I made a bunch of donuts for someone's birthday. Okay, I'm really not trying to insult you, and I really don't believe you would do that. I'm just really off put by these sprinkles, right. as I've seen these at Duncan before. I would never do that. I don't think you would. It would was just a weird thing to see. And I felt it's my responsibility as a business owner to ask. I appreciate you for being willing to calm my nerves by sharing the picture of them. I can't right now. I'm not home. If you don't want to put them out, I get it, but I would never do that. The day's over now, so no worries. If you can tomorrow before we open, that would make me feel a lot better about this. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. She then sends an Amazon link with some letter sprinkles with the message, hi, John. I'm still out in Montauk visiting my boyfriend. I won't be back until this afternoon. These are the sprinkles oh that I bought God. for the kids That's birthday bad. party thank you for the picture but this doesn't quell my fears do you happen to have a picture of the custom order i'm sorry for asking but i'm not seeing orange or pink d's in that container gg i'm very concerned uh, and apparently uh she didn't reply after that so um Take that as you will. But continuing with the post from Cindy Snacks, uh, we, Cindy and I, were not given satisfactory answers nor evidence. And yeah. in that moment, knew deep down how bad this was. Still trying to hold out hope that our trusted fellow vegan small business wasn't doing something so horrific. We scored the internet for possible sprinkles dupes that would make it make sense. We even ordered the sprinkles she claimed that were the ones used. As you can see in slide three, not only are these sprinkles not labeled vegan or even list the ingredients on the Amazon thing, they don't even match the ones on the donut. Yeah, here's the comparison. Bro, oh my, bro, she just found some random letter sprinkles on Amazon and was like, yeah, this would be good enough for, like, get this bitch off my back. Like, bro, in the words happy birthday, there is one D. You mean to tell me you found all these Ds in the words happy birthday? Come on, bro. Just, just admit you got caught, gang. Send, just admit so, you got uh, caught, bro. <laughs> Something's not adding up here. It the donuts may look seem... good, tripping? No, it's not the fact that the donuts don't look good. It's the fact that the donuts are uh, Dunkin' Donuts, yeah, and they're supposed to be vegan donuts. She's selling them to a vegan place, so people are eating them thinking they're vegan. Or I guess maybe they're not eating them, I don't know. But they're they're at least being sold at the bakery. That's the problem. I'm like the person's lying, but it gets so much worse. We Wait, then what? ordered an at-home gluten test trusted and used by gluten sensitive. That wait, that's not wait. What you mean at home gluten what? At home gluten test? Shit expensive as fuck. God damn, nigga. I think I'll just do better not knowing if my food got gluten in it or not. What the fuck? Expensive ass. I ain't never heard of it before. So these test results seen in slide four prove to us that the. <laughs> bro, it's like a pregnancy test, bro, for food. And then you're trying to figure out what your food got in it. That's kind of. That's kind of crazy, bro. Very least, this donut, and most likely all of her donuts, contains substantial amounts of gluten. We can only assume, given this recognizable logo design, where the- All right, vegan and gluten-free, you kind of asking for a lot, gang. I'm not gonna lie, you kind of asking for a lot. At that point, you might not- You might as well not even eat a damn donut, bro. You trying to be vegan and gluten free. I forgot about that. I forgot about the gluten free part. I got to find that too. These donuts really came from and what other ingredients they might contain. Right, We've cut all list. personal and business ties with this person effective immediately. Vegan we are mortified that we provided any of her products to our customers and to our own family. We trusted a well-known, highly recommended vegan and gluten free baker who's claimed to be working as a pastry right. chef for over 15 years. Well, that doesn't look good at all. If someone had celiac disease and ate that donut, that could have been the last thing they ever did. And I'm trying. It's not funny that a person could have died eating the donut. It's just like, it's just the way he said it, bro. Like, why do you have to say it like that? It might be the last thing they ever did. Like, bro, what the fuck? They're really trying to upset some stuff. It's, bro, it's just fucked, bro. Like, 
I would like to assume that she's basically drop shipping these Dunkin' Donuts just for some money purposes, and she doesn't realize the implications of her selling her Dunkin' Donuts donuts to people who literally can't eat gluten, you know what I'm saying, and they have to have vegan and gluten-free donuts. Like, hopefully she understands the implications of that. Or I would assume that she doesn't. She didn't understand the implications of that, and that's why she didn't. Because if she did it knowing that, that's like, it's like, it's like attempted murder. Trying to understand the upside with this because it's not like you can squeeze out a whole lot of profits by switching out vegan donuts with store-bought Dunkin' Donuts. We're talking like tens of dollars of profit here if she successfully pulled this off, but at what risk? Like, it just doesn't make sense if these allegations are real. This is probably one of the dumbest scammers I've seen in a very long time. Because not only is it like this petty scam, it's this major food and health violation. Just marketing Dunkin' Donuts as your own donuts, but they're also vegan and gluten-free when apparently they're not, that's just a new level. I would at least... Yeah, because a gluten allergy, I'm not going to lie, you're cooked. Can a vegan person, like, are you, like, diagnosed with that? Wait, are you diagnosed with vegan? Wait. Can you be diag di diagnosed, or is it always a choice, with veganism? In some cases, veganism can help a person recover from eating disorder. That's not what I asked. Uh, vegan say nope. This <laughs> vegan is my mental. <laughs> Look, bro. Hey, bro. At least they asked, bro. At least they asked, bro. Instead of just assuming, is any person's ability to stick to a diet maybe tied to their genetic makeup? Oh. So, realistically, they can eat meat. All right. So, you know, um. Honestly, all she had to do was just label the donuts as, like, boneless or something, and then that would have been, like, your Bro, no! No, I'm sick. Oh, my God, bro. I was just asking a question, bro. I just wanted to get... Bro, no. I'm not... Bro, we already took a test, bro. We already took a test, bro. We took a test. I am, like, not... I'm not sped, though. I'm not sped. Like... <laughs> You can have allergies that cause people to go vegan. Yeah, it's not diagnosed. Okay, all right, so yeah, we're good then. All right, so yeah. So technically, all she had to do was just lie and get gluten-free donut. Dunkin' Donuts is gluten-free donuts, right? So I'm just trying to figure out, like, if you're actually, if you're going to scam, you can do a better scam than that. Because you'll, I know gluten is, like, being allergic to gluten, you're, you're cooked. Donuts, uh, vegan. Oh, wait, no, not vegan. Uh, gluten-free. They have gluten-free donuts? Bitch, talking about some fucking milk and shit, bro. What are we talking about here? Uh, oh, they got hash browns? Oh, wait, never mind. That's not bacon. Um, gluten-free drinks. That's not what I'm here for. Okay, just more drinks. Okay, donuts aren't gluten then. All right. Wait. Egg bites, gluten free. Is there gluten in a donut? Baked goods, signs of gluten, as well as pancakes and waffles. Goes gluten free. Uh, uh. It was a fart. It was a fart. Um, I think the gluten free donuts as well as they offer Wait, what? They'll only be offering two gluten free choices. Oh, okay, so they do have gluten free. Okay, alright, that's all I needed to know. Okay, so they have gluten free donuts, so you take. Dunkin' Donuts is gluten-free donuts, and then you sell them as vegan gluten-free donuts. Because the vegans wouldn't know the difference. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. I mean, you got them unless they're gluten-free. But like, gluten, I dare you, like, allergies, not like people. Oh, fuck. I guess it's just a bad scam then, bro. Short rib and whiskey and Oh. I guess it's just a bad scam then, bro.
the stupidity. But I mean, hey, it's fascinating to see what unfolds on the internet every day. But the post continues by saying there's a certain mutual trust and respect in the vegan community, especially small businesses have amongst ourselves. We might all live differently, but we all have the same deep core values that consuming animal products is morally, ethically, and ecologically wrong. We are enraged that this trust and respect was broken and that we were unknowingly put in a position to perpetuate this betrayal. We want all of our customers and community to know that we take this betrayal extremely seriously and are looking into legal action. We will update with any proceedings as they come. Most importantly, we want to apologize from the depths of our soul to anyone who unknowingly consumed these products. <laughs> the depths of our soul. Products. This is our nightmare come true, and none of you deserve this level of disgusting perjury. I mean, hey, at least no one had a life-threatening allergic reaction from these that we know of, at least. But they then posted this saying, We oh, okay. contacted the supervisor at the Division of Food Safety and Inspection from New York Agriculture and Markets. He stated that he will begin an investigation and notify us of the results once it's complete. He also alerted Suffolk County Department of Health. We are waiting to hear back from them about the next step in the process. We're currently looking into Wait, several it's worse other than avenues this? to ensure accountability is met for the situation. We want to make it clear that we came forward with this information to keep our community of local vegans and those with food allergies safe from the future harm. We've seen our post and story reach all over the country on TikTok and Reddit posts, and while we appreciate the support and concern for how serious this is, we are not interested in being viral. While we have received many requests to do so, we'll not do any interviews or giving any statements locally or otherwise, as we don't feel like this Goes gluten free. Uh, uh. It was a fart. It was literally a fart. What, 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 why did you clip that? To serve our mission. We want to I keep people farted. safe and call out wrongdoings when we see them. We feel confident we've done that as best we could. Next time I'm gonna just fart into the mic, bruh. So that way y'all can hear it. But then the mother of the business owner from Savory Fig, she spoke out and claimed these allegations were not true. As Patch.com tried to get in contact with the business owner, but instead got in contact with the mother. And she apparently said these allegations are totally untrue when reached by telephone. In addition to that, the bakery's Instagram has reportedly been taken down and the Facebook is apparently still up, but her website is also taken down. But apparently people made a fake Savory Fig Instagram account where just a bunch of Dunkin' Donuts ads and a picture of Elizabeth <laughs> Holmes. And then her Facebook That's is just funny. a bunch of people absolutely dunking on her pun intended here's an example of one of her posts here of i guess her savory fig that's so crazy though bro like i get it you know what i'm saying scam till your heart's content i understand that there's plenty of people who've made huge bags off of scamming right but i don't know bruh a vegan and gluten-free scam like you got to understand like these people are gonna find this out bruh because vegans and vegan people and people who eat gluten-free are some of the best researchers that i know bruh yes they might be a little dumb you know what i'm saying but a spe well okay they're not dumb because some of them can't help it but the i mean I'm, I'm speaking about the vegans who specifically like chain themselves to trees before you cut them down like that, that's that's the people i was talking about but they're gonna find out that this is not real. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna find out. They're gonna run the donut through their gluten tester. They're gonna put the little thermometer in it, and the thermometer's gonna say, like, yay or nay, whether or not they can eat that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Donuts, and then the top comment says, looks good. I'll have to stop by my nearest Dunkin' to get one. And then you have <laughs> all these here, here, here. Tell people I have the energy to pursue this as soon as people know I should purchase anything. They need to go out of business. Like, so, so, See, if I was really bored, and I really had nothing but time on my hands, I would literally go to get one of these donuts and then compare it to a Dunkin' Donut. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would I would go out of my way to try to do that. That's if I was really bored, though. Like, I'm not that bored. Here, 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 and so many more. At least the internet community is making this entertaining. If you don't want True. this to happen to you, don't scam people. But the business owner... Again, that's not true. You can scam. Trust me, I know plenty of people who make a lot of money scamming. People are making good livings for them and their families and their communities scamming. You just have to scam the right people. Don't scam people, scam the government. Also, apparently came out and- And insurance companies. You can just scam. Dude, they literally print money, bro. Insurance companies, banks, bro. Like, dude, you can scam them, bro. No, one, no one's gonna care. I promise you no one's gonna care. 
Like, that these allegations are not true. But them, now the supplier, scale. Long Island-based Savory Fig, says the Instagram post is not true. The if you can scam, if you can scam them without them knowing or without them telling their parents, then sure, sure. Uh, what's up, right? Owner of the business, Michelle Siriani. Bro, like, this just isn't even a good donor, bro. Like, even for Dunkin' Donuts standard, bro. This is why I stick to glazed donuts, bro. Because this is, like, what is this, bro? He would not well, like you put cereal on top of it, bro. Agree to an on-camera interview, but she did say her donuts are in <laughs> fact scale, vegan but... and gluten-free. We went to Cindy Eric, Snacks to see illegal, if they'd speak it's with probably us. Its own the scam. savory fig did true. say that the store's Instagram post was not true, but the person behind the counter would not comment. And after we left, this no soliciting sign was placed on the door. Oh, okay. Well, the plot thickens. So for now, I guess we have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully the original business owner comes out and just grandstands this like in front of everyone. Like a, she has a full press conference. That would be absolutely amazing. She just comes out of left field with like a story that she had to sneak in one Dunkin' Donut <laughs> to see if the bakeries that were buying from her do their mm. own quality control. I feel like that's not even that far fetched when you're already sending fake sprinkles that clearly- Look, I was about to say, yeah, you could turn it around like that, but then people are gonna look even further in and then figure out that like maybe you've been uh, evading your taxes for the last three years like people on the internet find out a lot of stuff about people so you don't want to give them any reason to search deeper right um i think the main thing that she should do now is since she's already into the scamming market she probably needs to uh invest into um maybe doing some like ppp scams like i don't know I guess she already has her small business right uh, PPP scams, uh, scamming insurance companies, uh, like, there's methods, there is methods, she just has to, I, I'm assuming she's gonna have a lot more free time now, since people aren't actually gonna go try to buy her donuts anymore, so, like, hey, bruh, if you need a bag, bro, come see me, you know, eh. I, 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 got the, I got the, I got the word. But it's definitely safe to say there's some yeah, questions yeah, that need well. to be answered here. But at least she's not being sued by a billion dollar company like this oh. influencer is. Or facing life in prison like this oh, wow. influencer is. So uh, you can check out those videos here and here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow. Okay, I, I didn't know about any one of those two. Is every fig owner still doubling down on love people? This was two weeks ago? Is there an update? Oh, my fault, bro. I ain't even, I ain't even sub, bro. My fault. I realize the title of this video uh, is... Yeah, 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 don't say that to me. Um, has there been an update? Alright, Donut Bakery. Uh, uh, she lied in this TikTok? Oh, okay, nah. Okay.